Mayong gabi, mga kaigsuunan. God is good. We are here again. We are now on the sixth day of our ten days of prayer. Our topic is seeking revival. And sa day six, it is focused on God's solution to our struggle. Our key text says, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever desires to save his life will lose. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. That is from Luke 23, uh, 9 verses 23 and 24. Dari lang ko mga igsuon kay Budlay ning nubo ang imong height nya magharang ang camera. So dili ko makita ang sa layo. So transfer transfer lang sa ako ha. Okay, so that is our key text. Now, before we we will go further, let us ask first God's blessings, guidance and wisdom before we continue. Loving Father in heaven, Lord, we would like to invoke your presence tonight. We need you, Lord, give us the wisdom so that we would be able to understand the message that you are going to give us today. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, thank you kay sister sa iyang message. Tugma gyud sa atong mensahe karon. I am yours. So, naka-focus siya sa ang mensahe is related or ang kanta related sa atong key text karon. Yes. Third day or last night, si Ma'am Aspe nag-discuss sa ito uh, about the difference between spiritual Christians and carnal Christians. So, personally, I realized na, oh, carnal Christians, pagyud ko. Wa pagyud ko, spiritual Christians. So, our question is, how can we have lasting revival? With this, to answer our question, Jesus offers a solution for carnal Christians. Isa na ko dira who want to become a spiritual Christians. Anong gi offer ni Jesus na solution? Take note, day six, God's solution to our struggle. He says, "Remember or remain joined to me." Just as I also remain joined to you, John 15 verse 4. In other words, this verse says, "Abide in me." But the question is, how? Ellen White says that abiding in Christ means number one, a constant receiving of. His Spirit, constant receiving of His Spirit. Number two, a life of unreserved surrender to His service. Unreserved, walay reserve, reserve. Total surrender to His service. So, if we are going to follow those two steps. Nagihatag sa tua. What will be the result? Anong magiging resulta ana? Number one, it will lead to revival and a happy Christian life. So if it will result, if we will follow the two, receiving constantly God's Spirit and unreserved surrender to God, the result is it will lead to revival. And a happy Christian life. 
So kung happy Christian life, there will be no struggle. Okay? But why? Nga nung mag siya sa happy and, and revival. Ingon ni Jesus, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that joy, your joy may be full. John 15 verse 11. Sa Cebuano pa, or sa Bisaya, Kining mga butanga gisulti ko kaninyo, aron ang akong kalipay, magapabilin diha kaninyo, og ang inyong kalipay mamahingpit. Another is, ano pagyod ang result kung i-follow na itong duha ka divine steps nga gihatag sa atua? We will experience Christ in us or His presence in our everyday lives, that means we experience that. We experience the presence of, God's in our, of God in our life. And that means that we share the hope of His glory. From Colossians 1 verse 27. So ano yon? Revival, happy life, and experiencing God's presence in our life if we follow the two steps. Receiving the Spirit and surrendering to God. The crucial point in those steps is, it says, we daily ask for and receive by faith the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and We daily surrender everything we have and are to God because He will provide joy. So, simple lang di ay. Daily asking for the Holy Spirit. Daily surrendering our life to God because God will give us joy. That's the crucial point. In day one, we talk about how important is asking of the Holy Spirit. Sa so day three, we studied about our need to surrender. So today, we are going to study or we are going to take a look at these two steps, yung gihatag ko kaganihang duha, with a special focus on our need to ask and our need to surrender. Question, what should we ask daily for the Holy Spirit? Nga nung daily mang yud, unta every other day lang, pwede ba? The answer is, I'm going to give you a story. Kanina story, girelate lang po na sa tua. Nabasa niya, ang isa ka testimony of a gangster. Okay? Ang gangster, gi-surrender, gi-confess niya ang iyang mga sala. Sala niya sa perjury, sala niya sa pagpangawat, and other crimes. And as a result of his confession, ang gangster, 360 degrees na convert ang iyang kinabuhi. So pagbasa sining tao, he was amazed of the story. Na-impressed yun siya sa istorya, sang gangster. So, nagingon siya sa iyang sarili. I'm doing fine in most ways, but I was not able to experience like what the gangster have experienced. So, sabi niya, I will pray to the Lord. And he prayed. Sabi niya, Lord, I also want to confess all my known sins and the sins you have yet to show me. Tanan ko, Lord, nga mga sala, i-confess ko sa imo. Bisan pa ang mga sala nga, nga na, 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 nakita mo nga wala ko nahibalan. And in addition, Lord, I will wake up one hour ahead of the, the usual routine. I'm waking up to read the Bible and pray to you because I want to see if 
you will intervene in my life. Murag challenge, ano? Lord, sige, I will confess all my sins. I will wake up one hour ahead of the time I'm waking up every day because I will pray and read the Bible. And let me see if you will intervene in my life. What do you think, mga brothers and sisters? Ginag-intervene kaya ang ginoo? Let's see. Sabi niya, Praise God! Nag-intervene. He did intervene in my life. Not because I earned a merit by getting up early, but because I daily placed myself where the Holy Spirit could reach me. So, ingon niya, praise God. Nag-intervene yun ka ginoo sa ako ah. Hindi tungod kay nagmatakog sa'yo. Tungod kay naglapit pag ko sa Holy Spirit. And, if he says, if a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit was a daily necessity for Jesus on this earth, how much more do we need this power? Now, we, we remember in the, sa teaching ni Jesus or sa life ni Jesus that every day, he was asking a Holy Spirit to guide him and to be with him, right? So, ingon sa tao, kung ang Holy Spirit necessity para kay Jesus, how much more sa atua? Tama man? No. Tama, bitaw. Paul writes about the inward man being renewed day by day. And he prays that God's people would be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man. Because according to 2 Corinthians 4.16, inner man, that's the writings, that is how Paul writes. Okay? And Ellen White also offers this hope. The Lord is more willing to give the Holy Spirit to those who serve Him than parents who are giving good gifts to their children. In other words, willing pa daw ang ginoo na maghatag sang balaang espiritu for those who are working for Him. Kaysa sa mga parents, nga grabe, mga gwapo, nga mga regalo ang ginahatag sa ilang mga anak. So in other words, di ay pagwapo kung ang our focus is to give good gifts to our children. Hala, basig dili tatagaan sang ginuo sang balang espiritu kay mao man ang giingon. So, it says for the daily baptism of the spirit every worker should offer his petitions to God. Because our inward person needs daily care. So as workers, we are workers of God. We have to offer our petitions to God every day. Another question is, why should we surrender daily to Jesus? Why daily? Surrendering daily to Jesus. In the context of our text, of the passages that we have studied this evening, Jesus already predicted his death. And sa passages na atong gibasang, we know that, or we can say that, Jesus is already preparing his followers to his fast approaching death and resurrection. Diba? Nana sa, sa, no, nabasa na sa Bible nga. Nung giingon niya na, nga follow, deny yourself, follow me. Nakabalo na ang ginoo, nakabalo na si Jesus na mamatay siya, mag-resurrect siya. So, ginaprepare na niya ang iyong mga disciples. Another is, it's already starting, uh, he is already starting to train his disciples para sa ilang ministry. And also, ginagahatag na siya og hint 
about sa iyang person, about sa iyang mga sacrifices sa cross, and about sa coming kingdom. Okay? So, in other words, the passage is telling us that Jesus is trying to let His disciples understand kung ano ang nature sa discipleship. Ano ang principle sa discipleship. That is why Jesus told them, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Sa Bisaya, og siya miingon sa tanan, kung adunay buot musunod kanako, kinahanglan magdumili siya sa iyang kaugalingon o magpasan sa iyang cross matag-adlaw o magasunod kanako. If we try to look at this text, para madali na ito ma-remember, ibutang na nato sa atong huna-huna ang tatlo ka-phrases. Deny self, take up your cross, follow me. That is already self-explanatory. Okay. So when we say to deny, kabalo na tana. Meaning, we have to give Jesus in full control of our lives every day. Apostle Paul explains like this. I die daily according to 1 Corinthians 15 verse 31. Sa Bisaya, gaingon, oo mga igsuon. Tungod sa akong garbo diha kaninyo nga naangkon ko, pinaagi kay Kristo, Jesus, nga atong ginoo, ipanghimatuod ko nga ako nagakamatay adlaw-adlaw. That's the explanation of Paul. In verse 24, chapter 9, says, sa gibasa ko ganiha, uliton ko lang, whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But, whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Luke 9, 24. Unsa daw ni? Kung tanawon mo ang text, basahon sa nato sa Bisaya, kung bisan kinsa nga buot magpatunhay sa iyang kinabuhi, Kawagtangan hinoon siya ni ini. O bisan kinsa nga magawagtang sa iyang kinabuhi, tungod ka na ko, magapatunhay ni ini. Sa daw to? Kung i-summarize na to in a very short statement, mura kang makaingon nga, gain of loss. Opposite, di ba? Gain, loss. Ano nga, may gain ka, tapos na loss ka, loss ka, tapos na gain. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Gaining life by losing it? Sa ato, katawhanon nga pagsabot, when we say lose or lost, maybe we lost something tungod sa atong, <laughs> gitawag nila sa Bisaya nga pagkadanghag, no, danghag. Ay, danghag, magod ka. Carelessness, indifference, or maybe bad management. And when we lose something, of course, that is against the will of the loser. But losing your life for Jesus is different. It says here, a person holds his life so dear to himself that he wants to use it to please himself, do his will, accomplish his own purposes, rather than denying self and serving God, that person will in the end lose life eternally. Karang kita ng mga tao or ang mga tao nga kumbaga Mahal kayo niya yung kinabuhi. Mahal niya yung kaugalingon. 
Kay gusto niya ma-please ang iyang kaugalingon, maghimo siya sa iyang kabubuton, mag-accomplish siya sa iyang mga dreams in life. Rather than denying himself in the service of God, he will lose his life eternally. But anyone who loses his life for Jesus' sake gives it in service and sacrifice to God by denying himself, such a man will save his life by gaining eternal life. I know this is very common to us. Okay. Pero as human, we resist to surrender. Kay nga naman, siyempre may araw pa manggunta nga mga Lord, dili lang sabi, kay I have still, I want to be blank and so on and so forth. So we resist to surrender. We forget in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10, which says, when I am weak, then I am strong. We forget that sometimes. We received when we were born. So biological, by our biological mother, we receive physical life. Physical life. But we still need to eat every day to maintain our health. When we Receive when we were born again, born again. We receive spiritual life. But as our body, biological body needs nourishment, our spiritual life also needs it. And just as we cannot eat our meals ahead of time, neither can we surrender to Christ for tomorrow. Ellen White says, or writes, however, complete may have been our consecration at conversion. It will avail us nothing unless it can be renewed daily from our Father Cares, page 144. But how can we start how to get started? According to the teaching in Steps to Christ, page 47, it says, The best way and only way to daily receive the Holy Spirit and surrender to Jesus is by having daily, ano daw? Daily pastoral worship. Unless we choose God its day, our promises and good intentions will be like ropes of the sand. Anuning ropes of the sand. It's just like that. So we need to have daily personal worship. We need to choose God every day. Para ang atong intention will be like will not be like ropes of the sand. This is a challenge to us. Question ni siya sa ato akarong gabi, which says, "Will you commit today to sharing the best part of your day with him?" Kamura na na kay balo. Una-unaan nyo lang na siyang. For example, for me, my best day every day is in the morning. Example lang yan. So if it is in the morning, I have to share that best day of mine to God. By praying, by reading the Bible, studying, and so on. Okay. Kasi, ginaingon niya dari, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Matthew 6, 33. Praying God's word. Remain in the best 
relationship there is. So, it says here, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So, abiding in Jesus. If you abide in me, my words abide in you. You will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Wow! Very nice promise. So, if this is the promise, how are we going to pray? We can pray that, Lord, thank you for growing our trust when we daily surrender to you. Lead us to know the Holy Spirit better. Let your desires be our desires. Live in the best relationship every day. If anyone desires to come after me, ginaulit pagyud niya, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So, how are we going to pray? We can say, we can pray, Dear Lord, teach us to put you first in everything. Show us how to begin each day with you. Do we, do we pray that we need to, before we start anything else in the morning, sa mga teachers, bago mag time, pray ta sa ta. Kaya ako kung kaisa, makalimot po ko, nag time ko una, nagtrabaho na kalimot, hala, wala pa din ko ka-pray. Oh Lord, sorry, ragyod. So, before magdampot o cellphone kay mag time, pray first. Before anything else, we need to pray, we need to ask the Holy Spirit, and we need to surrender our day for the Lord. So, Mau na ang atong minsahi karong day 6. So brothers and sisters, thank you for listening. God bless us all.